Hi, this is Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Um, I'm going to run through a little Qigong Tai Chi simplified warm-up today. Uh, this video is mainly for my students who are learning this just to have a, an online reference so that they can remember the next move if they're, if they're forgetting. Um, it's all based on basic Tai Chi principles. Um, uh, it's a simplified version of a warm-up that I learned from Andy Dale in Seattle. Um, it starts with neutral, so I'm shoulder width apart, knees bent, a little bit of space here between the thighs. I'm not collapsing in that way, sitting into this crease. So not here, but here. And uh, letting the hips tuck slightly, lifting the ribs slightly, shoulders shrug a little bit to the side, chin down, head back a little bit. And then once I've got the posture, I want to just soften and relax everything. And once I'm relaxed, I want to float the joints a little bit so there's a little space everywhere. And now I'll run through the warm-up. Very important on this one to not twist the knees. All that's going on here is I'm shifting my weight back and forth. Up above, the ribs are swinging. People do this all the time and twist their knees around. All I'm doing is shifting my weight and adding the rib, uh, the rib turn or the waist turn on top of that. So I'm not doing this. Just pushing back and forth.
thing on side stretches is that you want to reach up and then over. So not just over my head, but up first, then over. Pushing the weight back and forth here, the turn is up above that. comes to these waist swings, uh, people say, how long should I do it? I just say do it until, at least until you feel a little bit of a significant improvement. Same with the cloud hands part and the brush knee part. Just do it until you feel a significant improvement. I'm a little softer, I'm a little more relaxed, I'm a little more comfortable. At least that long. If you want to go further, that's fine too. natural bounce at the bottom. There's a natural bounce here and a natural bounce there. Don't think about bouncing like self-consciously. Just keep a little springiness in the legs and drop your weight and there'll just be a natural bounce back. And this can be done really big or it can be done medium or it can be done really small. But the main thing is that this is just dropping straight into the So on the curl downs, that first portion, it's really about just releasing and relaxing the spine on a dimmer switch in various configurations. All those curl downs, with the exception of that last one where you curl down like this, um, the shape stays the same and your knees stay the same. We're not twisting in the knees. So when you turn around to the side and go down and do this, knees are staying right where they were. So if you imagine someone holding a yardstick against your knees, it doesn't move around. Uh, your knees don't move from them except for that last one where you do this. When you get to the swinging from the waist, don't twist your knees, just shift your weight straight back and forth and let your waist turn, not your hips. It's not down here. When you get to the cloud hands or the brush knee, a little too complicated to talk about too much here, but the main thing is just that the, it's rooted in the feet, powered by the legs, directed by the waist and expressed by the hands. The hands are not leading the way like this, they're following. So when I'm doing this movement, if I stop my body, so it stops the hand too. There's a circle around me. When I stop, the momentum takes the hand out. Um, when you get to the middle stretches, nice long spine here, curl down, nice long spine here. We're just taking a cross step, keeping the legs relatively straight so we can get a little outer hip stretch. I'm curling down with the hook hands behind you, doing it on the other side. Side stretches, make sure you reach up before you go over. Um, Every movement that you do there or every curl down, you know, there's an exhaling breath on the main movement. So we, you know, we inhale, inhale, or inhale, inhale. Um, and then the last two, uh, the one leg balance, you want to try to not break the line like this. You want to keep the line pretty much straight from your heels to your wrists. Um, you can work on, if you want to work on, turning your hips down 
or you can let it come up either way. The main thing is just to get, get that one-legged balance feeling and coming back up again. Um, and then as I say on this last one, you're really falling into the crease. So it's a nice little simplified warm-up, a way to just get acquainted with some Tai Chi principles fairly early on. And then we go from here to Qigong exercises and from there to basic steps and from there to the simplified form and from there to the long form and from there to pushing hands and weaponry and all kinds of partner work and great stuff. So if you like this kind of thing, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, visit my website, jeanburnett.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.